Paneratopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by IVPN. Use a VPN to help prevent your online activity from becoming a permanent record. IVPN encrypts your data and DNS requests so your ISP or mobile network provider cannot monitor or log your online activity. Purchase an IVPN service today anonymously with Monero. Hey guys, welcome to the post Monero Topia 2023 news section. The conference was last week and I wasn't able to attend, unfortunately. Um, and I'm still sad about it because <laughs> I really wanted to see everybody and I really wanted to attend. But a lot of things happened. I moved out. I'm in a new place now and uh, some other things. Uh, but if you have attended, I hope you have, you had a lot of fun because the videos and pictures looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get into, into the new section. We have a couple of things from the conference. We have some things relating to CBDCs. So let's get into it. Um, actually, I, I recorded another video and then this video wouldn't have sound, which I'm not sure why. So I guess I'm just going to, it's just like 14 seconds. So I'm just going to, yes, he's literally saying that. Um, but he said he's essentially saying Brad Sherman is essentially saying that crypto bros made over a trillion dollars out of thin air. They'll accuse the U.S. government of doing the same thing, making money out of thin air. And uh, maybe we do, but we are the U.S. government. And then he made his face, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, so ever since we disassociated gold from the U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar has become monopoly. It doesn't mean anything. We just gave it meaning and then we decided to make that as, as a medium of exchange but we we might as well use the rocks we might as well might as well use actual monopoly money that you find from the game uh, so this thing this thing doesn't have any value it's not backed by gold if you go to a bank they're not going to give you anything in exchange they're just gonna it's nothing um i'm not gonna rip it <laughs> because i still need it um just not nothing but yeah um and then he says essentially that crypto bros made over a trillion dollars out of thin air so crypto is obviously a digital, a digital product. It does not have a physical reality. It's not like this dollar, right? You can't touch it, but it's physical and people believe in it. And that's what it gives the value that it has. It's like a Pokemon card. Some people pay, you know, for one, hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, because they believe in that Pokemon card and whatever property it has. And same with cryptos, like people bought Dogecoin, they bought Shiba because they believed in the product and what it promises to do. Um, yeah, but so he basically said that the government is printing money out of thin air and that shouldn't be a surprise to anybody because they do. And they're just devaluing your money that you work so hard for. And I think it's about 10% per year that you're losing value. So if you have a million dollars, you lost a hundred thousand dollars by the time New Year's Eve, uh, hits. So yeah, happy new year. You lost a hundred thousand dollars. Let's go. <laughs> Let's lose more for next, next time. Um, or you can look into Monero and decide if, you know, you want to merge some of your money and, um, preserve it. And it actually does a pretty good job of maintaining its value. And a lot of people don't know about it, but a lot of people will know, um, about it. And I'm really excited to see what's going to happen by Monero Topia 2023, uh, 2024. Um, and this Monero Topia 2023, it actually had a huge effect on the network and the trans on daily transactions. So we can see, so the conference was May 5th through May 7th. We can see on May 4th that we had like 33 transactions per block, right? May 5th, that's when everybody got to Mexico City. That's when everybody, you know, settled in. So 35, kind of shy. May 6th, 47. May 7th, 46. And then the conference ended and it went back to 35. And then 39, 39 and 35. So uh, the conference had an effect, that's for sure. Uh, Vic said that in the last seven day period compared to prior seven day period, Cake Wallet and Monero.com saw an increase in downloads by 42% on iOS and 35% on Android, which is huge. It's almost half <laughs> more. Um, it's really big. And then we have another chart from um, Doug. I think actually Senu made it and Doug reposted it. Um, but it's the number of transactions in blockchain per day. So we can see December 2022. Okay. Bit high, low, and then um, Monero Topia came and we went up. Uh, why? Well, because we had vendors, we had uh, people were uh, getting Monero for the first time, they were transacting with each other, uh, they were buying products, uh, t shirts, you know, hats, whatever, coffee, and what are other things we were selling. We had a lot of, <laughs> we had a lot of vendors actually. Um, let's see. 
we had yeah pacha bazaar um happy hands kalenda uh humano five rico tonal lab like a, a lot a lot of stuff um so that's why it went up um now monero posted if you're bearish on bitcoin you should long monero and vice versa bitcoin usd parity goes down xmr bitcoin goes up uh by now you should look into monero if you haven't and maybe own some uh maybe i own some maybe i don't and you'll never know and um yeah but you sh should probably look into it i'm not giving financial advice but you should probably look into it um of course not just for the fact that it's going up because i don't really care i just want uh, a form of money that is going to enable me to have more freedom but it's nice and uh yeah with adoption the price is going to go up but there's no reason to sell just use it or i guess if you need to sell sell um then let's let's talk about nim and the fact that they uh, announced uh, integration of nims mixnet with the monero network so essentially what it is is that users users gain an added layer of privacy at the infrastructure level ensuring equal protection from financial surveillance for all um really interesting i'm really happy that they were able to attend the conference and that they were actually at the conference so uh we're probably going to see the, the the speech soon um if you want to test it out it's on it's out on the stage net make sure that you do let them know what, what you think um like share you know and all the or retweet <laughs> on twitter and all these things now i want to talk about DeSantis and robert f uh, kennedy and what they have in common so what they have in common is the fact that they both do not like cbdc's and i also don't like cbdc's and you probably don't like cbdc's so we all have something in common um but DeSantis signed a cbdc bill into law which is essentially restricting some uses of us and foreign cbdc's he's encouraging other states to do the same uh basically the new law prohibits the use of a, of a u.s federal cbdc as money within florida's uniform commercial code um, it also bans the use of cbdc's issued by foreign governments and calls on other states to use their commercial codes to institute similar prohibitions so he's calling on other states to follow suit um he yeah so he doesn't like cbdc's um he says that I think they want to crowd out and eliminate other types of digital assets like cryptocurrencies, right? Why? Because they can control that, so they don't like that. Um, and they for sure don't like Monero uh, because they can't control it. But in the same way, like it helps us, but it, holds, it also helps them because then we can't see what they do with our tax money if they're going to use Monero to uh, move things around. So uh, pro for them, pro for us, but I guess there's more cons for them because they can't control us anymore. Uh, but so essentially the bill stipulates that transactions involving CBDCs won't be afforded the usual UCC protections, potentially dissuading entities or individuals from engaging in such transactions with CBDCs. So he's making sure that people don't want to use CBDCs, essentially. And Robert F. Kennedy thinks the same. He has added anti-CBDC to his anti-establishment, anti uh, vaccination repertoire um he talks about the environmental argument which is a selective pretext to suppress anything that threatens the lead power structures bitcoin for example obviously we believe or i believe more in monero than bitcoin are doing that in threatening the lead power structure um but yeah governments are essentially using the excuse that crypto is bad for the environment and is destroying the amazonian forest and all these things so we should suppress it which you know it's not true i mean it's becoming more environmentally friendly um because of the eco-friendly um methods that are coming around to, to mine it in a better way um but yeah so he also said that it's not outlandish to imagine that even here in america your bank account could one day be frozen because of your politics or comments you've made on social media and we've seen this with paypal right so with paypal for example um essentially if you posted something political that is against their policy or anything that is against their policy and you're using paypal they're going to subtract 2300 per action 2300 and if you're using paypal you can't say anything um against it because you're using the platform so if you don't want that to happen then just don't use them 
but it's going to come to CBDCs. You're going to have negative interest rates. They're going to freeze your account. They're going to make sure that you can spend it in certain places. So CBDCs are something that we certainly do not want to have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the, all the links are in the description if you want to, to check them out. Uh, make sure that you watch the whole show, the price report, the dev report, just the whole show. Um, it's post Monero, Monero Topia 2023. Um, really interesting. So make sure that you watch it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.